Welcome to Kramer Control Tutorials. My name is Brian Morris with Kramer Electronics. This video will discuss creating a project in the K-Touch Builder. The previous video tutorial titled K-Touch Overview showed you how to create a new handset and a new panel. We're going to take that information and expand on it now to create a full project. So what's the difference between a page and a panel? It's quite simple. If you have multiple pages, you can swipe between those pages by dragging your finger from left to right on the screen of your device. If you have multiple panels, you need to press a button that's linked to a specific panel to jump between panels. First thing we'd like to do is create a landscape page on our first panel. Simply find landscape pages and click the plus sign. Now you'll see your grid with a landscape oriented page. The next step is to drag a background image. First, select your layer, and in this case we want background layer. The background layer is for all of your background images, any images you want that will not be buttons. The foreground layer is for all your buttons, commands, labels, and everything else. All layers will show both layers together so you can see and get a nice preview of what the screen will look like when you're done. If you're selected on all layers, and you drag any images or any commands over to that, it will automatically place them on the foreground layer. So we'll select background layer, and then we're going to find a background image that we'd like to use. Drag it into place, and let go. After that, change your layer. We'll go to all layers. The next step is to find some button images and drag them in place. Here we've got some source buttons. Let's drag a few to where we'd like them on our screen. You can see that these images are grayed out and that means that there's no commands or no link assigned to them right now. By clicking on a button, you can simply use your directional keys on your keyboard to move them around and place them on the grid where you would like them. Next, we'll choose some volume buttons. Here we've got a volume up and a volume down. Again, click on them, use your keypad to move them where you'd like them on your screen. The next step is to assign commands to these buttons. Go to the Devices tab where you'll find Virtual Device 11 and Virtual Device 12. All of the commands for your virtual buttons are within these two devices. So we're going to expand this, and then we expand network codes. And you have all 32 buttons for virtual device 11, and below the 32 buttons for virtual device 12. Same thing, expand network codes, and you'll see buttons 33 through 64. The next step is very simple. Take our commands and drag them over our buttons. Simple. Now I know that buttons 3, 4, and 5 correlate to my inputs that I programmed into my kconfig device. Same thing as buttons 6 and 7 correlate to volume up and volume down in my kconfig device. Now that we've gotten a couple buttons on a panel, let's create a new panel that can link to this panel. All we have to do is go to the left hand side, click on the first panel, and hit the plus sign above it. That will add a new panel. 
As you move forward, it's a good idea to start labeling your panels so you know which is which. We'll call this one home. We'll call the first one system on. Click on the home panel and let's add a landscape page. We can go through the same steps of adding a background image just like we did before. Here you can choose a different background image or you can choose the same background image. If you'd like to save some steps, you can simply click on the page that you used before in the other panel, right click and say copy landscape page to which panel you'd like. In that case, it will be home. Let's jump back to that page where we have just a background image. On this page, we're going to add a simple power button. Drag it on the page, position it where we'd like it. Next step, go to devices, drag our command. Every time we press this power on button, it's going to execute the power on sequence on my kconfig device. Now to link this panel to the other panel, we right click on that button and select convert to link. Now you'll see that it's grayed out, which means that we haven't assigned the properties for the link. Go to the lower left properties section, select a panel that we want to link to, system on, and select a page, the only page we have on that panel. Now our button is highlighted, it's not grayed out, and it's a link to that panel. Next, let's add a power off button to the first panel that we created. Find that panel, go to the page we want, select our images tab, find the appropriate button that we'd like to use, and drag it in place. Position it. Now, we want to link this panel back to the home panel anytime we turn the system off. So right click on the button, convert to link, and assign the panel that we'd like to link to. Home and the page. We also want to assign the appropriate command. Drag the command over and let go. Let's add a text label to our screen. On the right hand side, go to the More tab, select Widgets, and drag a label to the screen. On the lower left hand side, in Properties, we can change the name of this. call it sources. We can change the size, make it 15 wide on our grid. We can change the font, change the size of the text, make the text bold. We can change the color if we'd like, and our alignment as well. click on it, position it where we'd like, and we're all set. If you want extra buttons on a panel, but don't want to take up the real estate on that panel, you can do that by adding a drawer. A drawer gives you the ability to drag in a percentage of a panel on the left, right, or bottom of your screen. The first step to do this is to create a new panel dedicated to your drawer. Click on a panel, Hit the plus sign. Rename it. And add a page. If you want a drawer on the bottom of your screen, you need to add buttons to the top of the panel. If you want a drawer on the right side of the screen, you add buttons to the left of the panel. If you want a drawer on the left side of the screen, you want buttons on the right side of your panel. In our case, we'll have a drawer on the bottom. 
So the first step is to go to images and select the images that we want to use. We're going to have some transport buttons. Position them where we want them. The next step is to assign commands. After we're done with that, we're going to go back to our original panel and add a drawer. Go to the More tab on the right-hand side of your screen. Within Widgets, select Drawer and drag your drawer where you want it on the screen. Now you'll see that there's a handle there. That handle is what you pull out with your drawer. On the left-hand side in Properties, we want to take this drawer and link it to the panel that we created. Select the panel name, and select the page on that panel. The next thing is to add a percentage of how much of the screen we want to pull in. Let's try 10%. The initially opened option, you can make it so anytime you jump to this panel, the drawer will be open or closed. Pinned name gives you the ability to lock that drawer so it can't be opened and can't be closed. At this point, we have a fully functional project. The next step is to save this and sync with our device. To save, go to the top left and click on the picture of the disk. This will save your project to the server. In addition to this, save a backup locally on your PC. Go to File and Backup. After you're done saving, go into the Ktouch app on your device and sync with this username and password and this handset. For instructions on how to sync your device and other advanced features in Ktouch, please refer to the appropriate Kramer Control tutorial video. This concludes this tutorial. From Kramer Electronics, I'm Brian Morris.